welcome to a draftphysics.com video presentation on the subject of the kinetic energy formulae uh, this here mv squared and the lever argument demonstrating that a 10,000 year old the first you could almost argue scientific tool the balance proves that this formula has no merit or justification added to the other facts of its horrible history, the fact that there is no physical evidence ever demonstrating the existence of the extra energy projected, predicted by this bad formula. Um, this experiment proves it to be nonsense. Uh, it's just irreconcilable with these facts. So the simple experiment is you, <laughs> a lever provides you the opportunity to convert um, different momentums, that is velocity to mass ratios, so you can put a heavy object on a lever close to the fulcrum and a light object further away from the fulcrum and you can balance those two objects. You can make them weigh the same because gravity will see them as the same in the sense it will give them the same amount of energy in the same amount of time. This object will move a small distance in the same time that this object can move a large distance. So it creates a balance. They will equal each other. I put a one mass object on one side and a half mass object two distances further away and they will balance they will weigh exactly the same and if I start it in motion the two objects will create the same amount of energy now the lighter object will travel four times higher but it will always land with twice the velocity and the bigger object uh, lighted by a larger mass will go less high in gravity but it collects more gravity per second because of its larger size creating more energy when it lands so even though it only has half the velocity it will land with the same momentum the momentums are equal Newton knew that Descartes knew that that is their energy okay the MV equals the MV on both sides the lever proves the two are equal uh, and if we use this mv, one half mv squared, that originally for the first hundred years was just mv squared, there was no one half in front of it, so it was clearly way off when Leibniz invented it. Clearly, 200 joules does not equal 100 joules. You cannot have 100 joules of energy on one side of the balance and 200 joules of energy on the other side of the balance and say you have a rational balance, say you have a system that will oscillate. I cannot throw a potato from my left hand into my right hand and then back to my left hand and say the potato weighs twice as much in this hand or the potato has twice as much energy in this hand. It's just a nonsense. And the lever proves it that the thousands of years old, I mean more than 10,000 years ago, human beings figured out this tool and this tool decisively proves the theory has no merit. It's an old religious artifactal religious piece of dogma shoved in the middle of modern physics and it's way past time uh, somebody besides me uh, points out that it's just an imbecility it's a huge stupid mistake it's like getting plus and minus wrong except you admitted plus and minus are wrong you haven't admitted that this is just a waste of time this has nothing to do with reality Okay, the only thing that matters is MV. Newton made correct predictions with MV. D Descartes made correct pr 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 predictions with MV. They didn't have bad science. They weren't doing bad science. Their science wasn't flawed. It didn't need to be fixed by Leibniz. He didn't fix anything. He broke everything. And it's just time you admit the truth. Uh, research it. Research the history, see how silly the arguments were, uh, and recognize that there's experiments that prove it can't possibly be the right answer. It doesn't work. It doesn't make accurate predictions. Let it go and such. So this has been a draft physics video production. Now this was sort of produced. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of produced. <laughs>